Hey guys, Marsting and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to test out the fully easy aid free to play Ginyu Force team. However, the LR Ginyu Force did not get an easy A and uh, they have the Ginyu Force leader skill and not only is it quite low but the LR Ginyu Force is not super great, uh, especially for more difficult events. So I thought we would bring these guys on a double Bojack team because uh, all of them are on Space Traveling Warriors. Bojack has a 170 across the board leader skill. So uh, yeah, he's he's the new captain of the Ginyu Force. So I'm the captain now. We're uh, going over to the Universe 6 Infinite Dragon Ball history. So under their new captain, the Ginyu Force has traveled to Universe 6 to uh, wipe out their team. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting, uh, we got a great first rotation here because Berta uh, still has his mechanic where he needs to attack in slot 1 in order to have his chance to dodge. So we didn't have any attacks uh, in slot 1 which is really good because that's the downside to his ability. Um, and he does infinitely stack defense on his super. So him going off in the first slot here is pretty good. Uh, Jace obviously gets a pretty decent defense buff when he supers as well. And of course he can foresee super attacks. So we can see that we're not getting any, which is great. Um, and so yeah, let's see what we can get. So 2.3 out of Berta straight away, which considering he is supposed to be uh, a more defensive unit out of the team. There we go, getting the... Uh, the double dodges and then 1.7 with Jace. Jace obviously a support unit. Uh, whilst the seeing super attacks is really useful, we'll probably float Jace. So then with Jace and both the Bojacks, we'll essentially have a support unit in slot three uh, for every single rotation. So this should work out pretty nicely. Uh, Raccoon obviously builds up his defense as we go. Uh, he does have a chance to guard because the other Ginyu Force uh, members are around. So hopefully we can get lucky with that, especially towards the end of the event but of course as we keep going he is going to build up his defense to a pretty reasonable level anyway so we have to try and make sure we're keeping some key around for bojack because obviously he's not getting any links so i mean starting off tanking double digits straight away and then a 2.5 million attack stat is pretty solid uh get a nice crit and the additional as well let's go so yeah the ginyu force uh, definitely looking very good double crit as well so uh goodbye uh, phase one and now Ginyu Ginyu is uh, is pretty cracked so yeah he's starting off with 177k defense which is pretty good um, we can take the risk of putting Berta in slot one just because it's early on so he's not going to do insane damage to us and obviously we've got type advantage at least plus he does have a 20% chance to dodge with other Ginyu force members so you never know no eh 16k I mean <laughs> I think we can take that. I didn't actually see what our HP was because we got double 170 leads for the HP. Wow, Ginyu at a 3.2 million on turn one. That's pretty good. And he seals as well. So very, very nice. And then a crit from Jace. Let's go. All right, so we got what? 440k defense. That's pretty good. Um, obviously, we're not going to transform uh, either of the Bojacks because they're just here for support. Uh, can this guy be stunned? No, he can't. So, probably should let Raccoon go first. He's sealed, so he can't super attack anyway. Uh, what's your defense? 87k. And obviously, remember, he greatly raises his defense. So, his defense goes up to what? Like, 130-something? Which is pretty good. So, I'll be interested to see. Uh, you can probably do it with items, but I don't have a huge amount of time to record. So, I wanted to go into this event because I knew we could probably get the W, maybe even without using items. But I think this team, you could probably take on the GT Legendary Goku event uh, if you're using items. Obviously, you could use that support memory that gives the extreme Namek Saga units a buff. Because then, obviously, all of the members of the Gigi Force would be getting that. Bojack wouldn't, so you'd have to be careful, especially if you're not transforming him. Like, when you get to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku stages, and probably the Ozaru as well, to be fair, um, he's going to start taking quite a lot of damage. So, you definitely want to be using items for that. And, obviously, he's not getting the buff uh, if you use that support memory. So, you would have to be careful about that, but I feel like the Ginyu Force is probably good enough that unless you get some really unfortunate super attack placements early on, um, you could get pretty far through that run without having to use too many of your items. And then uh, you just use them to protect Bojack at the end. So, yeah, I think this is going pretty well so far. So, let's see. We're good. We'll see if we can get the guard active here and see if uh, Raccoon can tank these attacks like a boss. He's getting the support from Jace as well. So, strong setup here. Yeah, double digit damage. And his passive is almost fully built up. I think he has to be hit four times 
So, oh no, it might be three. Or he got hit four times already. So he's fully built up now. So he's going to be very good defensively throughout the rest of the run. We will check his defense on the next turn. We can still lower attack as well, which is nice. So even though he can't stun, Guldo lowering attack is also quite useful. And uh, let's see what we've got going on here. So we definitely are going to go ahead and put Berta in slot one, just because we've got the type advantage. What is his defense now? Because he does stack. 165k. I mean, that's pretty good. So even if we get super attacked and he doesn't dodge... Um, he shouldn't really take too much damage here. And uh, we're getting pretty close to a Dokkan attack as well already. So if we can avoid it next turn, we can probably finish off Frost without having to use it. So, uh, hey, Berta with the dodge on the super attack. Ginyu, 3.56 now. So decent damage from him. And then Bojack's at 1.25. Bojack is unironically the uh, <laughs> the weakest link on the turn because he's not getting any links active. Uh, mine has one dupe and is full level 10 links, but none of them are being activated. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So we'll do this. Uh, so what is our defense with the support from Bojack? 236k. And obviously he can uh, potentially guard. He's greatly raising attack for one turn. So he can hit some pretty decent numbers. And uh, yeah, we just have to hope we get this high chance to go uh, guard to go off on, uh, on the regular. At least once we get to the later stages as well. So we should be able to finish him off it. Ah, damn it. I tried to go for the not same type orbs so we wouldn't get the Dogon attack. So unfortunately, this is a little bit of a waste. Um, Raccoon might be able to take him out even without a crit, but let's see. He's not got a huge amount of health left, so we probably could finish him off here. I mean, if we don't, Gordo will. So, uh, 3.5 million attack stat, though, for, <laughs> for Raccoon. I mean, remember, this is a full free-to-play set of units apart from Bojack. So, yeah, they are, with their easy A's, definitely very, very good when you run them on the specific setup that they are designed for, which, you know, is this team, basically. So we'll go ahead and put Ginyu in slot 1, because Berta won't have the high chance to dodge. He's only going to have the 20%. I mean, Ginyu's at 177,000 defense, and uh, he does raise defense for one turn. He's infinitely stacking attack, so his attack is going to get pretty high. And uh, we'll just grab loads of same type orbs. Maybe we can end up getting a second dope on attack on this run. So how much are we going to take from the super attack from uh, Kabe here? Probably not a lot. 18k. Well, basically 19k. And then, yeah, obviously double digit damage. 3.7 he's at now. Um, so, yeah, pretty tidy 3 million damage. I mean, even Bert is up to 2.1 here. So, no crit, but his defense is obviously getting up there now as well. So, double digit damage for him. Uh, and then Jace is the weakest of the bunch. But he does get a bunch of extra defense by having the other Ginyu Force members around. So, yeah, he still holds his own perfectly fine. Very, very good. So, let's save this one here so we can get the four orbs for Bojack. So, yeah, looking good. Do we get the guard seed? Even without getting the guard, because the arrow would be pointing down. If you get the guard. So even without getting it. Uh, Raccoon just tanking for double digit damage. And then our man Guldo. God Guldo is going to come in. For the KO. <laughs> so yeah. I mean this team is pretty competent. Um, I am actually quite interested now in doing that. Um, GT Goku event video. So let me know down below in the comments. If that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. Uh, Berta has 200k defense now. So we'll go ahead and put him in slot 1. Um, okay, yeah, there's a bunch of physical orbs at the side. I need to... Oh, okay, I'll just grab those. Perfect. So, hopefully no super in slot one. Normal attacks are still just doing double-digit damage, man. Yeah, this team is uh, pretty damn good now. So, for a free-to-play... Like, if you're new to the game, the first thing you should be doing is farm the Ginyu Force. Farm all the free-to-play units from the Namek Saga, because obviously you need them to do the Extreme Z area. But if you can get this team built up like as quickly as possible on your account and um, this team is going to be able to beat a lot of the events in the game so <laughs> we finally take our first like big amount of damage here because obviously Ginyu he does get some damage reduction when there's multiple enemies uh, when there's a single enemy he just gets straight defense which obviously when you get super attacked is uh, always going to be 
a little bit awkward. That's why the Android A item is nowhere near as good as like a Princess Snake, because just by raising your defense doesn't protect you a huge amount from getting super attacked. But I mean, we very quickly build back a ton of our health with the same type orbs here. And uh, even Guldo with the type disadvantage should tank perfectly fine on this turn. Jace allows us to see that there's no super attack because him getting super would actually be pretty bad. But look at that, double super as well. You know what that means? Double greatly raising defense. So yeah, our, our boy just takes double digit damage despite the type of disadvantage. Jace might unironically get hit for more than Guldo. But he's still taking double digit damage as well. So, I mean, this team is just absolutely dominating this uh, event. We don't get to see the supers this turn. So we've got to hope that we are not taking one in slot one. But look at this. Berta's up to 340k defense now. So he would actually tank a super attack, like, reasonably well. Yeah, 41 damage and then 2.1 on the attack. I mean, considering he's got such a high defense, even, like, just over a 2 million attack stat, still pretty good. So, yeah, this is looking very nice here. Um, a super attack on Bojack would be bad. But other than that, this turn should be pretty good. Because at least untransformed... Uh, Bojack does raise his defense on super attack. So, um, we got the guard active as well. So, if we get lucky, she'll try and super attack uh, Raccoon after he attacks here. Yes, let's go. So, the guard is going to be active. So, this should do very little damage. Yeah, 12k. Wow. <laughs> Raccoon, an absolute beast. Now, that is the problem with uh, the chance to guard passives being so annoying. Is obviously that if that had not gone off, then obviously that super attack would have done damage. Maybe 100k, maybe more, because obviously Raccoon has decent defense now, but type neutral. Um, we definitely would have been looking at some reasonable damage there. So, yeah, chance to guard passives are always incredibly annoying. That's why I really dislike the STR Ulma Gohan. Hopefully, when he gets his easy A, that will be something that they change because. I mean, the Dokon Fest exclusives that have gotten easy A so far, like the category leaders, have been pretty good all around. So, yeah, all Gohan, man, just imagine that team. Actually being able to use him on the team, have him linked up with Tech Gohan when they transform. And, man, that rotation would be, uh, would be pretty good. <laughs> so, look at this. Jace even takes double-digit damage with type disadvantage, like this far into the event. That's really, really good. So, if we do this here, um, I think we should easily be done this turn. Raccoon, oh, I missed the, uh, I misclicked that, but Raccoon, is he going to guard this time? Yeah, there you go, 10k, that's basically nothing. Uh, super attack with um, type neutral, pretty good. So, Gordo going to finish her off here. Yeah, nearly 2 mil, that's pretty good. And are we on the last? Is this the last stage now? Oh, we got the Namekians. I always forget about the Namekians before you uh, get to hit. So, can't see the super attacks here, so we'll put um, Captain Ginyu in the front just in case. And, uh, at least in the second or third slot, Berta actually does something now. Um, so, he has the chance to get an additional super, which obviously, with him infinitely stacking his defense, is really, really useful. Uh, good, good shout putting Ginyu in slot one here, because we take the super attack. 57k is fine. And we're going to get another Dokon attack next turn. So, he's up to 4 million now. Shame we couldn't get it with him. Because uh, getting the Dokon attack with type advantage, that would be a severe blow. And uh, Burr coming in with the crit, which is good. Gets past the type disadvantage. And then Bojack. Yeah, Bojack avoiding the super is also very good. Because like I said earlier, like with no links active, he's, he's probably unironically the weakest unit on this rotation. So, we know we're getting a super in slot one, so we're going to have to hope that uh, Raccoon comes through with the guard again here. Uh, if we target the same type of orbs, we can make sure we get the dope on attack. So, he's at, what, 246k defense. So, as long as we get the guard off, uh, he won't take much damage here. But let's see. It's a shame that they don't give you a chance to actually know as well. Like, if it was a chance to activate for that turn, but it at least showed you, like, a symbol to show whether it was going to activate or not, it would make those units so much more useful because you could know not to put them in front of a super attack. And on harder content, they're still going to probably take a decent amount of damage from, like, the final boss of an event. But at least you know not to put them in front of a super. But 
Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. Hopefully they stop doing that. I mean, this, the fact that they this guy just got his easy A and has that ability means that it's not something that they're going to be uh, scrapping anytime soon. So, yeah, big damage crit from Raccoon. No crit for Gulda. Oh, double super for Gulda. Okay, so he finishes him off here and we can move on to the last part. So what typing is here? Is he physical? One thing I always forget and have now literally just remembered coming into this turn is the fact that Hit can lock you in place on the rotation. And I did not bring an item to remove that status effect. But fortunately, this is how I would have wanted to put the rotation anyway. So that actually worked out in our favour a little bit. Um, damn, I did not fall the way I was hoping it would. So, no super for Bojack, which means he doesn't get to raise his defence, but he does at least have type advantage. Um... Berta's defense is so high now that he's just not going to take any damage. Maybe if we get supered, but he's going to raise his defense again here. Oh, twice as well. Additional. There you go. So many of these guys have such good, like, super attack effects. So I had to completely change the way I'd done most of their hidden potential systems because, obviously, I had them geared originally solely for the purpose of getting the no items run on the Ginyu 4 Super Battle Road stage. And uh, so I gave a lot of them quite a lot of extra dodge, especially units like Jace, who obviously was very weak defensively before uh, the Easy A's came out. So, yeah, this is unfortunate. I would quite like to put Raccoon in slot one, but uh, I guess we'll have to do this. And then can't get any tech or physical orbs here, which is unfortunate. But we can do this. So hopefully the uh, rotation locking is not going to be our undoing here. But I mean, Bojack's still just taking double digit damage. So, oh, and Hit can dodge, of course. <laughs> double, su oh, <laughs> double super and he dodges both of them. Great. At least we get the double defense raise, though, from Bojack. Because even if your super attack gets dodged, you still get the effects like defense up and things like that. So getting the double super is good, even though we didn't end up dealing any damage. Uh Gordo's going to make up for it with a double super of his own, which gets dodged as well. Well, Hit thinks he's UI Goku out here. He's just dodging all the attacks. And uh, the fact that Gordo is not, like, the strongest defensively, but he took barely any damage there is uh, definitely pretty good. Captain Ginyu going to get floated off here. Um, I think just in case Ginyu takes the super, I probably will go ahead and use an item. Man, I'm annoyed that I forgot about Hit's rotation locking because I could have brought the... Um, just like the leaf item, the herb thing that gives you the cure status effects but doesn't heal you. Because with being able to put the units in the slots we actually wanted, we probably could have avoided taking a certain amount of this damage and probably gotten all the way through to the end uh, without having to use an item. But we should finish off hit here probably on the next turn. Because Ginyu's attack stat's going to be very high. Yeah, 4.7 million. But he's got type disadvantage, so we really needed a crit. But no crit from Ginyu means we'll have to finish them off this turn. This could be awkward. Yeah, I was going to say, if he locks that Bojack in the middle, it means we can't, we can't have any Lynx active this turn. All right, so is uh, Raccoon strong enough uh, here with no Lynx active to finish off it? He's got his guard active, so double digit damage from the final boss of an Infinite Dragon Ball history stage. He's pretty impressive and uh, no crit. So let's see if the Bojacks can come in. At least they're all getting double support. So obviously the Bojacks are giving 30% support to Space Traveling Warriors. There's two of them on the rotation. But are you kidding me? They're not actually going to finish them off. <laughs> you can really see the power that like links give when you get stuck in situations like this. Where your characters don't have any links active. They do so much less damage. But he's got basically no health. So we'll go ahead and get the finish here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put... Actually, no, let's let Gordo finish him off. Gordo's done some serious work in this video, so he can go first, get the W, and then we'll give uh, Berta the same type orbs. So we're actually back up to full HP now as well. So as long as he doesn't dodge, there we go. So Gordo gets the win. So there you go. That is the full Easy Aid Ginyu Force, uh, using them on a team with an actual 170 leader. And yeah, they're really, really good. They put out some very good numbers, both offensively and defensively. They have some good abilities from their passives and their super attack effects. So yeah, they're very, very strong. So let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see this team take on the GT Legendary Goku event. Maybe we could do it on stream at some point and then turn it into a video. But I think that would be pretty interesting because we used one item here 
So I think if we use that support memory and then bring smart items, we could easily do that one. So let me know what you guys think down below. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one. Thank you.